And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, B. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't... Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you. Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? B? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We mm. need to bring him. Talk to about living in the past. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Oh. Thanks for letting us finish our conversation. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me. Okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we I can't come that. to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... 
What the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. You do know I'm on a murder case, don't you? And as far as I'm concerned, wasting my time is an obstruction of justice. You want me to arrest you? No, Bigby. I'm sorry. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's 
too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? Whoa. Bigby's here. Oh. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sited statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If the witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. The witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard, and the materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. It's just tough, is all. Just do what I fucking say, all right? Leave the coat, find another way. Fine, I'm leaving, but I'm taking the coat with me. Toad, if you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? Have a good day. Drop by any time. He really grows on you. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. 
Because I'm not a mind reader. There's more than just pawning going on here. You got the loans. What else? Maybe it's like a weapons locker, too. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. And if I just happen to find a giant mystical axe? That would be quite magic. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh, I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back, you know? I want to check stuff out here first. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you just- Shut up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh. Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so. Uh... And even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Last chance. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. You know where she lives? Where she took it? I don't know where that crazy chick lives, and I don't want to know. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... It's not my fucking system. But you, you're the guy who makes sure that... I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Gren said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is, is his axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you. I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum? So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh... He wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Wait. 
We're not finished yet. You work with the Crooked Man. And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a sting, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's obedience school for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers and ban him over just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. The crooked man appreciated that. I wouldn't exactly put it like that. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. <clears throat> cool it, Woody. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. I just want what's mine. My axe. Woody, trust me, you don't want to go there. Just stay out of my way, all right? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, 
The fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. What did you hear? It got broken. Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. We're like a sewing circle. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh! oh. He ain't going anywhere. Will Mary be there? You want me to draw you a picture? I don't fucking know. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did. But I do know this. I don't have to listen to this shit. Out of smoke? Goody brand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about and get the f Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? I'll see you around, all right? Yeah, I'll see you.